the RATHL study was for patients with advanced Hodgkin lymphoma to determine whether we could use an FDG PET scan carried out after two cycles of standard ABVD chemotherapy to determine who should have more intensive treatment and who might benefit from de-escalation of therapy. Just over 1,200 patients with advanced Hodgkin lymphoma, that's stage 3 and 4 and stage 2 with multiple sites of involvement or bulky disease or other adverse features, received two cycles of standard ABVD at full dose and on schedule regardless of the blood counts before a second PET scan was performed in order to assess the response. We used the five-point Deauville scale to measure the response rate and 1, 2 and 3 were called PET negative and 4 and 5 were called PET positive. 85% of patients became PET negative after two cycles of ABVD and these were randomized to either continue with ABVD or to continue with AVD omitting the bleomycin from the last four cycles of treatment. 15% of patients were PET positive and these had escalation of therapy to receive one of the BCOP regimens, either the original escalated BCOP or the BCOP-14 whereby the schedule is telescoped into two weeks. We now have a median of three years follow-up for the trial as a whole and we have very good results with 95% overall survival and 82% progression free taking all the patients that took part in the study. If we think about the patients who were PET negative, that's with a Deauville score of 1 to 3, we have very good overall results with 97% overall survival with a median of 3 years follow-up and 85% progression-free survival. And importantly, the result of the randomization between continuing ABVD and going down to AVD shows no difference at all in outcome. The outcomes between ABVD and AVD in the final four cycles of treatment are the same across all the subgroups that we've analyzed. It doesn't make any difference whether you have bulk disease, what hassan claver score is, or what stage of disease you have at the baseline. The, there is no apparent advantage to continuing with bleomycin for the final four cycles of treatment. Very importantly, the toxicity is different according to whether or not patients continued ABVD. So we saw a statistically significant excess of febrile neutropenia and infections in patients who continued with bleomycin and we also saw an excess of pulmonary toxicity, dyspnea and an increasing reduction in uh, transfer factor for the patients who continued with